We've already discussed the relationship between the composition of a hybrid orbital and its energy. And now that we've seen the relationship between energy and stability, we can formalize the stability trend based on hybridization. The punchline here is that the greater the s character of a hybrid orbital, the more stable the electrons in that hybrid orbital. A pair of electrons occupying a hybrid increases in stability as the s character or percent s of the hybrid increases. In previous discussions of NBO theory, recall that we identified a hybrid with its percent s character, taking the total composition and looking at what percentage of that is due to the s orbital. sp3 hybrids, for example, are constructed from one s orbital and three p orbitals, and so have 25 percent s character sp2 orbitals are constructed from 1s and 2p orbitals and thus have 33% s character. And finally, sp hybrid orbitals are constructed from 1s and 1p orbital and so have 50% s character. Because the s orbital is lower in energy than the 2p orbital, increasing s character decreases orbital energy. And so what we can say for hybrid orbitals, which are universally occupied with electrons, is that the sp3 hybrid is the least stable and the sp hybrid is the most stable. And although this effect may seem abstract, it has real influence on the basicity of the three anions shown here. Each lone pair shown here can act as a Lewis or Bronsted base, and since the energy of the orbital associated with these electrons is highest, we can say that these electrons are the most reactive most basic or associated with the strongest base. On the other hand, the sp hybrid electrons are the lowest in orbital energy and so are the most stable, least reactive, and associated with the weakest base. As a quantitative measure of this, we can look at Kb for the two bases here. And the difference here is staggering. The Kbs differ by something like 25 orders of magnitude. We can trace this difference entirely to the difference in hybridization between the sp3 and sp electrons. One last thing to mention is that as we've seen for the other stability trends, this is other things being equal. Resonance issues and issues of electronegativity being off the table, in other words, looking at the same type of atom, the same element, without differences in resonance stabilization, we can identify this trend in the stability of electrons as a function of their hybridization.